we were well, hurt, preach that we're dying. You grab, you get delivered, praise God. But I, we I see it. Let me say, we I see it. We I see it. Amen. You don't have to believe with me and go with me. But the way I see it, if you're not completely delivered, then you need deliverance. And if you're not, come on now, if you're not completely delivered, amen, you're not going to hear what's not being completely delivered. The Bible says, amen, he's going to make a new creature out of you. He's going to, ain't not an old creature when you, when once you get saved, amen, you're going to become a new creature, amen. I think when Nicodemus said, amen, pray, praise God, how can a man be born with old? She said, it was the second time, and she was born with a woman. And Jesus said, Mom, and I said, you must be born again. Yeah. Amen, praise God. Here, a lot of people say, well, you know, I've been born again, but I'm not saved. Well, I think I that thing bad. If you've been born again, then you ought to be saved. Yeah. Can you say amen? You ought to be a new creature. Can you say amen again? Why? Because, amen, we're born again means being a new creature, being, amen, praise God. And when you get saved, you know what happens? You get sanctified. You know, why you get sanctified? Because the word sanctified and salvation, they say, all of them mean the same thing. Once you get saved, you get set apart for the service of God. Otherwise, you're not knowing. You're, no, you're, not, you're no longer a servant of the devil. You become a servant of the Lord now. And that was saying, you can't you mean you're a servant of God. I mean, you're one of God's children now. You're a child of the king. Uh, of the, amen. Of, 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 of the king, praise God. You want to live, you, you're an heir and a joint heir with Christ, praise God. Amen. You become sanctified, praise God, from head to toe. Amen. Why? Because, amen. Why? How you get sanctified? Because you wouldn't be saved if you were sanctified. The word to word, hallelujah. Amen. Sanctification is stopping you from being fornication. Amen. They stop you from being adultery. Uh, unless you got a wife or amen a husband. You know what I'm saying now? It helps you to live holy and sanctified life. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. That's all it means, praise God. And then what he said, if what, what, what the word faith does, it, it takes everything out of your heart. Take the old stony heart out. I, I think about that, you know, and I, I like to say, Lord, you know how, it, it, you know, it looked like it, 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 you see, the worst drunk out there can be the best thing, you know. So he's walking in now, a man of the drunk, and, and all of a sudden, the word finds him. He accept the Lord, repent of his sin, and God save him. He surrendered. You see, what, what, now what made the difference that drop? The word found, the word went down, the word faith went down in his heart, cleansed his heart out, took out the stony heart, gave him a heart of flesh. Can you say amen again? But now, on the other hand, now let's think about you. You have been in the midst. You said in church, right? And that way it says hypocrite. Hypocrite, hey man, but fast, they got it and they ain't got nothing. Hypocrite, the one that's talking about it all the time, well, what he's doing, ain't doing nothing. You know, uh, otherwise, hey man, it's still that little stuff in his heart. You know, you let him know the stuff, the little fox destroying the man. <laughs> Look good on the outside. The rain and hell on the inside. Back back in church. Child. Huh? Hating on somebody. Envy. Jealousy. Huh? Total matters in your heart. Amen. You're in church. Hallelujah. And why Jesus got some that thing up and he said, not everyone that said, Lord, Lord, go in the end. But he had to do the will of my father. Those are the ones that gonna make it. <laughs> amen. Then he said, Amen. 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 Praise God. You, you, you got to realize, amen, what it, the word faith cleans you up. It gets you ready for heaven. It's changing. This is why he said the word is now, and even the word of faith is now, it changes you. Yeah. It changes your attitude, changes the way you think. 
See, that two things about a man must be changed. Amen. That's right. And, uh, and to live right. Amen. Two things about you. And I want you to get this real good. There's two things about you going to have to be changed. And you know what it is? One is your mouth. And the other is your heart. Now these two things are going to have to be changed. I get it good. Most of the people, they man, you see what I'm saying? A lot of people talk their way out of hell. They talk their way out of blessing. Huh? They talk their way out of success. Or oh, it is what I'm saying to you, that mouth, amen, and talk about your neighbor. Talk about your friend. Can you say amen? Amen. All that stuff coming out of the mouth. So your mouth will have to be changed. That's why I said the word is not in your mouth and in your heart. Two places are going to go. Your mouth and your heart. And I believe for a person to really be saved, there's a first place that's going to go in your first place. First thing going to change by you in your mouth. That's why you do the most damage. Yeah. <laughs> that's why you, and your mouth destroys more, more than anything else. It destroys your neighbor, destroys your friend. That's your mouth. You think about that, your mouth. This is why the word gets your mouth first. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Because then when you come down here to the Bible, when you say you say, if you confess with your mouth. Huh? If you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Okay, we got to get it down your mouth. Confess it with your mouth. And believe it in your heart. Praise God. That God raised up Jesus from the dead. Thou shall be saved. So now, uh, number one, you got to remember that this mouth is going to play a part in your salvation. Because you got to confess it with your mouth. Believe it in your heart. Are you listening? And then you'll be saved. But if you don't, if you don't, <laughs> if you don't, and somebody said, well, I'm saved, but did you confess it? If you had to confess it, you're not saved. See, you're going to have to confess your saved. Amen. You can't I get I get in my heart. I'm saying, no, I don't care I'm gonna hush in your heart if you don't confess huh, with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe it in your heart, then you're not saved. No matter how good you look, how much you shout, you got your mouth will have to say it. Huh? You gonna have to confess it with your own mouth. That you are a child of God, that you've been really born again, washed in the blood, amen, that you really believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you're going to have to confess with your mouth. Oh, yeah. Are you into what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Amen. That thou shalt confess with thy mouth. See, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, you know what I'm saying? Oh, praise God. Confess with thy mouth. Amen. The Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. You, amen. you got to get it in your heart. you got to get it in your mouth. you got to confess it. And this is what kind of faith you're dealing with. And faith is make you confess. It's just like in there, Paul said, Timothy, confess a good confession. Otherwise, they amen, don't confess anything. Good good confession. All right, this is what I'm saying. Even you ask it for something, if you need faith to even ask for you. If you don't, you won't ask for nothing worthwhile. Yeah. Amen. And salvation is the greatest thing that can happen to a man. Don't ever fool yourself and amen. This is the most important part of faith. And I, I understand why people say I can be healed, but now, amen. I, say, I can believe in this and can't believe in healing. I don't know how you can believe in being saved and can't believe in healing. I don't see how you can believe in being saved and don't believe in prosperity. Because no. the greatest of all is when God reached down and his soul speaking down in your heart. Take out that old stony heart. Give your heart a flesh. God take that old bad spirit out and give you a spirit of done right. And David said, Lord, create him within me a clean heart and renew within me a right spirit. See, those things got to be, God got to do all that. Amen. And then you 
you say, well, I'll believe that with my mouth, amen. Well, you can almost believe anything. If you, you know, <laughs> the simple part, it wouldn't make you say, I said that. Because if you can believe that, see, this kind of faith that we're talking about, the word faith, this is the faith that going to quicken you. This is the faith that going to change you. We should not all sleep, but we should all be changed. So that's the kind of faith that's going to change you. Uh, this is the kind of faith that, uh, in case he does come. And it will come today while we're talking. That's going to, amen, quicken your body, change you. But more of the immortality. It's the kind of faith, amen, for he's going to change you. Right? Amen. It says, amen, praise God, it says, praise God, amen. And raised up Jesus from the dead should also quicken our mind body. With the same spirit that got Jesus out of the grave. If you can believe that Jesus got out of the grave, you can almost believe anything. Huh? If you believe that, amen, this is what he's saying. Confess and believe that God raised Jesus from the dead. And then he's sitting down on the right hand of God. That's a real good faith, that. Uh, right? Yeah. That's really the thing, amen. You're going to say, well, I believe that God raised Jesus, got him out of the grave, and then Jesus went on back to heaven. Yeah. Now he's sitting on the right hand of God. Making an intercession for me. Thank you. Now, when you believe that, you know you can really.